Hi guys, it's me, Hara, all of you. Welcome back. This is actually my first vlog after my summer holiday and I really wanted to check in with you guys because I realized that I actually didn't show you guys the makeup that I bought when I went on holiday to Malaysia. Actually, truth to be told, I really didn't buy that much. You know, when I came back from my holiday and I laid all the makeup on my bed and took, it, took them out of their boxes, I looked at them and I thought, is this all I bought? I really didn't buy that much. You know, at first you think that's, oh, it's so much because, you know, boxes do give you that impression that it's so much, especially when you're packing them in your suitcase. But then when you come home and you take everything out and you put them, like, in your makeup storage, it really wasn't that much. So, I, I mean, I did buy more than an average person would buy, but honestly, I really didn't go overboard, or at least um, in comparison to my standards. So... Uh, I wanted to show you guys some of the things that really, really stood out. I'm not going to show you guys everything because um, what's the point? I'm sure you guys are more interested to see the things that I actually end up using and loving. So the first thing actually I mentioned in my vlog, or vlog already is the IT Cosmetics CC Cream. I really, really... CC Cream? Yeah. CC Cream. Uh, I really, really love this product so, so much. It is... The hype is real, okay? This is a good product. This has been my go-to product every day when I go to work because it's complete. It has everything. It's SPF. It has a great coverage. The only thing that didn't work out well was the color match. Now, if you go shopping for makeup in Asian countries, you will notice that the makeup artists in Sephora or whatever beauty store you go always have the tendency to match you with the fairest shade because you know in Asia there's this thing that the fairer the more beautiful you are whereas here in Europe it's the complete opposite the more you're tan the more you're darker the better so it ended up working when I was in Malaysia because honestly in Malaysia we were indoors all the time but when I came back to Italy and I started taking Sun Sun the the lightest color was just not working for me I had I actually had somebody told me your face is as white as a ghost. So that was a no-no for me. So I ended up repurchasing this. I placed an order on uh, Cult Beauty, which is in the States. And uh, I hate ordering things from the States because you have to pay customs. And only after did I discover that this is finally available in Selfridges. So I'm hoping next time I need to buy this, I can place an order on the Selfridges website. Anyway, I got the color medium. And it is a much better color match for me. I'm not wearing it today. But it is so, so much better. Actually, how do I look today? I'm wearing SPF, like regular SPF, so I might look a bit white because of the lights. But anyway, uh, medium is definitely a better match for me, and I love it. Really, really love it. Another product that I really blew my mind, and I'm so happy I got it uh, in Malaysia, is the Cover FX setting powder it's called perfect setting powder yes perfect setting powder this is what it is and it is so freaking good actually i was looking for the laura mercier translucent powder that everybody raves about but i couldn't find it or at least the stand of laura mercier in the sephora where i went to the one in wanutama was a bit run down i feel that the makeup artist should really stock up on that counter everything was messy and many things were missing so i decided to opt for this one from a cover effects Randomly, I have to say, um, uh, I needed a setting powder. I wanted something translucent. So this is it. And it is so good. I can't really put my finger on it, what makes this so special. But um, when I put my foundation and then I set it with powder, I can see a difference, like a genuine difference. And it, my face just looks smoother. And that's what it is. That, it's just perfecting. So I guess that is, that's why. It, my face just looks better. So, yeah, nothing, you know, nothing major, but just a little, a subtle difference that makes the, that makes me like it. So, yeah, I really, really like this, and I recommend it. I decided to get something from Kat Von D in Malaysia, not because we don't have it in Italy. It, in Italy, it actually just arrived, okay, Kat Von D. But I was there, and I thought, you know what, let me just get it. I got the Locket Concealer, and I love it. It's a great concealer. It covers very, very well, but it's not heavy. I'm, I wear it in my under eye area almost every day. 
and it's it's good it doesn't crease then also from Kat Von D this is actually something you saw in my last video actually thank you so much for all the great feedback in my last video the uh, my Dior bag uh, I, you all like that video a lot great comments great support and thank you very very much anyway uh, the Lolita uh, liquid lipstick and this is a liquid lipstick right Yes, it's a liquid lipstick from Kat Von D. It's called Lolita and it is, uh, there is a hype and no wonder there's a hype because it is a very, very nice colour. I'm wearing it today. Actually, this has been one of the few lip colours that I've been wearing. I, I usually switch between this one and Max Mare because I'm all about the mauve colours, okay? So I really, really like it. It stays on for a long time. My, this this colour will not go away until after lunchtime. Late afternoon, let's just put it that way. And it's just morning now, so it's, it's nice. Then other two products. Oh, this is actually something that I could mention. There was a Soap and Glory stand in Sephora, and we don't have Soap and Glory here. So I obviously had to get the hand cream. I really, really like it. I wonder if I can get Soap and Glory online. I also got the uh, Bobbi Brown, what's it called? Vitamin Enriched Face Base because everybody's been raving about this thing. So I wanted to try it. Uh, I feel that this season, like in summertime, this is not a good time of the year to try this. I used it uh, when I came back from Malaysia a couple of times. I love the formulation. Even though I have combination oily skin, it works with my skin. But because it's hot and, you know, my skin is more oily than usual, this as a base is just not working because my foundation does not look nice after, if I apply this beforehand. So, yes, I feel that this is a more suitable primer for the winter time. Something else that I bought, actually not in Malaysia, I got it here, is the Marc Jacobs. Look how big it is. It's actually, I have a big face, okay? It's huge. Anyway, it's the Marc Jacobs Omega Bronze Bronzer. Right, so there you have it. It's a bronzer. I like it. I have to say, initially I bought it because I really like the packaging. I'm a sucker for packaging. And I have to say that Marc Jacobs packaging is really, really uh, up there. Right up my street, right up my alley. I like it. It's very sleek. It's very elegant. And it's uh, different from all the other packaging. So I love the packaging at first. And I think this is a limited edition. Yes, it is. So that is obviously something that gets to my head. It was sold out for a long time on the Italian Sephora website. In fact, I ended up getting this one on the Harrods website. Uh, yeah, crazy, crazy, I know. Anyway, it's a bronzer. I mean, th th there's really nothing much to say about it. I'm wearing it today. I like it. It looks good. And, um, yeah, this is something new that I got and I wanted to show you guys. And then a last thing I wanted to mention because I don't think there are other new things. We'll see, we'll see. Anyway, uh, I bought the Anastasia Brow Wiz. I was hoping to find the Anastasia, uh, an Anastasia counter in general in Malaysia, but it wasn't there. You can just find Anastasia in the States, I think. I don't even think in the UK. Anyway, I got this when I bought, when I placed an order for the It Cosmetics. I thought since I'm placing an order, I might as well get Anastasia Brow Wiz because I love this product for my eyebrows. It's the best. And I got it in the color dark brown because, because. And yeah, that's that. I love it. The first thing I always do is take off the cap of the spoolie because it's just easier. And yeah. And then another thing that I got um, in Malaysia is this eyeshadow palette from Too Faced. Uh, I haven't really used it that much, mainly because when I do my makeup, this the, the makeup you're seeing on my face is the makeup that I've been doing every single day. Um, because that's all I can, I can handle in the summertime. Uh, not doing a lot of uh, uh, things on my eyes, just, oh, another thing that I did buy in Malaysia, I actually bought two of those, the Marc Jacobs uh, Gel Crayon uh, for the waterline in the color blacker, I got two of those because that black pencil, the, the twist up one, is the best. Uh, I finished it a while ago and I missed it so much and I said the first chance I get to buy it, I will get it and I bought two because I love it, it's the best. And so yes, this is what I got, but as I said, I really did, I haven't b been applying much on my eyes, just eyeliner and mascara because that's, 
that's all I can do. This is what the palette looks like inside. I have used this a couple of times actually when I, you know, I've been going out like maybe out for dinner with friends and stuff, but uh, not not too much, not too much. Like on on the on a day to day basis, definitely not at all. I got the Roto Eye Drops when I saw this in the pharmacy. Like my eyes literally literally popped because I've been dying to get my hands on these eye drops, but it's so difficult, if not impossible to get them online unless you want to pay like a ridiculous amount for you know um taxes and stuff like that but who i mean for eye drops really so this is what they look like uh and i really really like them they're very refreshing so i love these eye drops and i got one i could kick myself for not buying more and then i also went to kiehl's and i got some things from kiehl's i got the for the first time ever i bought eye cream i mean how strange is that when it comes to eye cream i either use samples or put nothing at all which is bad uh but i got this one the powerful wrinkle reducing eye cream with copper so i've been using this and i really like it it doesn't make my it doesn't irritate my eyes at all it doesn't make my eyes water so and it sinks in very easily so this i like and i will repurchase it when i finish it although i feel that this will last me a long long time because you only need so little then I got, and this is actually a repurchase because I've used this before, and it's my go-to when in the summertime. It's the Kiehl's Ultra Light Daily, Daily Defense, and it's an SPF basically for your face. I put this after my moisturizer. Sometimes I mix the two together, and yeah, it works great. I mean, in the summertime, we, you cannot not use this. I don't use this when I use the It Cosmetics for foundation because that already has SPF 50, but otherwise, like today, because I'm not using the It Cosmetics, I'm using something else. I have this uh, on my face. And then also I got this moisturizer from Kiehl's, the Ultra Facial Cream, which I feel like Kiehl's has two versions of this, a richer formula and a more lighter formula. This is the lighter formula, which is okay when I use it in conjunction with, like with my serum and stuff, all that stuff. But just on its own, like I wash my face and I put this on, I feel that it's not that hydrating. I mean, um, it's very, very light, so maybe it'll work great as a daytime moisturizer. But uh, for nighttime, when I really want to hydrate and moisturize and, you know, make my skin all supple and soft, this is really not a lot. So, yes. Anyway, I'm not going to tell you too much about my... Um, skincare because I actually want to do a dedicated video about my skincare routine because I for the past couple of months have re revolutionized my whole skincare routine I changed everything almost everything every all the products are new and my skin is so much better I mean I'm not sure if you can see definitely not because I have makeup but I noticed a difference almost immediately after a few days so I wanted to show you guys and you know nothing I mean these are products that you all know already so but I wanted to, I just want to film a video about my skincare. Right, so that's that for the makeup. And I am going to go out right now. Uh, I need to go and buy a birthday present for my brother. His birthday is next week. So I need to go and get him something now. And I think I will catch up with you later. Because I have some things I need to tell you. Like exciting things. Hmm? <laughs> just love pharmacies. I love pharmacies. Call me crazy, but oh yes. I need to stock up on some Bioderma. And what's this? Limited edition with pump. Okay. 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 I have tried other micellar water. Blah. I have tried other micellar waters and they are good. They're good. But I have to say, after a while, I just Go back to good old Bioderma. What can I say? What else do I need? I'm telling you, pharmacies for me are almost as dangerous as Sephora. Really, I'm not kidding you. Oh, I'm on. What else? What else? Uh, no, not interested in this section. Uh, 
I need Nurofen because it's that time of the month and I'm getting headaches. I can't see it. Right. I need to get pens. And there's quite the selection. Okay, so here's the thing, okay? I don't know about you, but it seems that everybody is in love with gel pens. Now, what is it with gel pens, okay? Everybody likes the fine tip and things like that, and I just hate it. I love the fat, like, traditional ball pens, okay? The one with the fat ball pens, yeah, anyway. And apparently, it's the most difficult thing to find at work. Like, we have, like, a whole closet with stationery and stuff, and it's all gel pens. I want a ball pen. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna go and buy it. I need to find my ball pens. Like, no, it's, 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 I, I like writing, like, good writing, proper writing, and I've been writing shit, like shit for the past few days because I don't have the correct pen. I know, I know, first world problems, I know. So basically now L'Oreal, came out with these new shampoos called Botanicals. It's a new line and it's all natural and stuff. And I'm not like really into these all natural things, but I don't know. I see them everywhere. I haven't tried any of it yet. Any products of this line, have you? Let me know because I'm intrigued. Oh, and I wanted to show you. You see this mask over here? It's like a coconut hair mask. It's super cheap and I used to use it back in the day when I was in high school for my hair not sure it really did anything but it brings back memories oh and these masks down here are really really good they're super cheap but so good they're from a brand called the Montagne Jeunesse not sure if it's French or Swiss but it's really really good it's like a monodose they come in monodose packs although in one pack I can get at least three uses out of it and it's good. Just wanted to recommend it to you. It's really good if you see it. Okay guys, so I wanted to show you guys my... How many times can I say guys? Show you guys my outfit of the day. Very, very plain, boring and simple. I'm wearing this like... It's an A-line dress, we can say, from Uniqlo. I bought it last year in Singapore. Never wore it. And this summer I thought, maybe I should try it out and wear it. And it fits great. It's it's fitted, okay, it's a fitted dress, but it's very plain and simple, quite tailored, and I'd say it's a great it's a great dress for work. Even though it's sleeveless, it's very elegant, so good for work. The bag, obviously, and the glasses are my Chloe. Like really these are the only sunnies I've been wearing this summer. Which is a pity, I feel bad for all the other sunnies, but it's all I want to wear. And for shoes, I am rocking my Chloe Susanna ankle shoes and I absolutely love them just a little FYI uh, in the beginning when I had to wear them I did have to unbuckle them because you know the leather was quite stiff not hard or uncomfortable or anything but a bit stiff so I had to unbuckle them but now I don't need to so yeah that's that uh, these have been my go-to shoes in the summertime especially at work because they're so classy and elegant and they go with everything and oh look Marvis best toothpaste of all time my favorite 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 This is my favorite restaurant Come la bicicletta. Mira ci dietro.
buongiorno, è presto si può? No, no, accomodatevi, prego. Dove volete? Grazie. Ta -ta -ta -ta. Buongiorno. Buongiorno, ciao. Buongiorno. Ci vogliamo mettere qua? Qua, qua. Va bene. Vabbè, leva la sedia, faccio una ripresa. How's it going? Jeez, I hope this camera doesn't fall. It's on the back and it's not stable. Anyway, uh, I am in my favorite restaurant. As I said, I love this place. It is called Sole e Luna, which in Italian means sun and moon. And it's great. They have great pizza and also fish and stuff like that. We are here for the fish, obviously. Anyway, um, I wanted to show you guys my outfit of the day, mainly my t-shirt. Actually, let me see if you can see my whole outfit. Anyway, um, this is a t-shirt that I actually bought, I want to say a month and a half ago when I did that order on Luisa Via Roma, I bought the Alberta Ferretti Monday t-shirt and this was on um, a bad order or something like that and it said, it actually said when I bought that it was supposed to arrive in September, like September 30th and it actually arrived this week so just a little info, when you order from Luisa Via Roma and it says, like it gives you a date uh, of availability, um, the item actually might arrive sooner, like more than a month, actually a couple of months earlier. So that's that. It's from Dolce Gamana and it has writings and scribblings all over it. So I like it, it's comfortable. At first when it arrived, I thought that it was going to be big. I don't know, I had this impression just by looking at it that it was oversized, but actually it's not. It fits great and I have, it's quite long, so I have it tucked into my skirt. So yes, these t-shirts are true to size, just a little info. And that's that. Now we can eat. Hi guys, how's it going? So I just wanted to end the vlog here. This vlog has been all over the place, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this is what I've been up to really, just hanging around. So I just wanted to share with you actually, before ending the vlog, a very exciting purchase that I made. I want to say like three weeks now, it's been a while and I already shared it with you on Instagram because the excitement was at a high and I could not restrain myself, I said I had to share it. Basically, um, who buys a winter coat in July? It is from Bellman, it's a beautiful, beautiful coat, okay, if you saw the picture you know. It's a beautiful coat from Bellman and um, it's a coat that actually brought back memories because I saw this, I eyed this coat actually um, beginning of the year. I saw it first on Claire Chanel here on YouTube. She had, she made a collab with Luisa Villaroma and she wore, and she ended up buying the longer version of this coat. I loved it. I checked it out. I saw that they had a shorter version, which is basically like a pea coat. And, um... But I was not prepared and willing to pay that the full price for that coat. And actually, thanks God I didn't because I ended up finding the same coat, the exact coat for 50% off, which is still a lot of money because I mean, it's Bellman, but at least it's 50% off. So it doesn't get any better than that. And it's, it's fabulous. It's beautiful. It's super soft. I don't even know how I managed to try it on with this heat, but I did because I had to. Um, basically, and this is the reason why I actually wanted to um, talk about this coat a little bit here now, is the sizing. Um, uh, at this point, I have several pieces from Balman already. I mean, I, I don't know if that's good or bad. Definitely bad for the bank. But uh, I have several pieces. I have a t-shirt, tank, I have the blazer, the infamous blazers, and I have a coat. And from all my experience, I can tell you this. If Batman in general runs pretty true to size, except for the blazer. The blazers, I mean, like it or not, they run small, so always size up. 
I have the blazer in a French 44 and I have a coat in a French 42 and the coat fits me comfortably, not tight at all, whereas, uh, whereas the blazer, which is one size up, fits me snug. That's all I have to say. So uh, if you're thinking about, buy, about buying a Balmain piece, when it comes to tops, okay, I'm not talking about jeans and stuff because I haven't bought any yet. Um, they, are, they run pretty true to size, except for the blazers. The blazers are small, so always size up if you want to be comfortable in your blazer and if you want it to, you want to actually button it up. And that's that. So I have been doing some shopping a little bit. Uh, for now, I just wanted to share with you guys my blazer. The, for now, I just wanted to share with you guys the coat because the coat is the coat. Sorry for not showing with you, showing it here physically, but I have it in my wardrobe with all the coats and just the thought of touching wool in this heat. Don't ask me to do that. But I mean, it's there and it's waiting. It's waiting to be worn. So, right. Um, I will see you guys in my next video. Ciao.